Good morning. I hope everybody had a great weekend um, here in Tennessee. It looks like it's going to snow again today, but I hope everybody enjoyed their weekend with their family. I'm sure most of you that watch this probably worked a little bit too, so I hope everything went well. So, leave it up to our unbelievable, dumb, dumb politicians to come up with dumb, dumb things um, that make no sense whatsoever, okay? It's, it's one of the dumbest things I've seen in a long time, and there's a lot of dumb things, uh, but this is, this is probably the dumbest, especially in this market, okay? In this real estate market, in this mortgage market, right now, the problem is not buyers, okay? That's not the problem. Um, I mean, we're calling our pre-approvals every single week. I mean, we have like 70 plus people that, that we're touching base with every single week. And the main problem they have is trying to find homes. Okay. If they can't find homes, uh, because there, there's no inventory, that's the problem. Okay. So instead of getting, giving more incentives to people, uh, to buy more homes that aren't there, how about we give incentives to, uh, builders to build more homes, something. Okay, but why would you do that? Right now, it's the lowest in decades as far as the inventory. Why would you come up with something to throw gasoline on that even more? What's going to happen is that people, it's already happened, by the way. It's been happening for probably the last six months or so. The prices, let's say somebody, you know, has a list price of $200,000, okay? So what's been happening is, is, is that there's, you know, there, there's no inventory. So now you've got three or four or five, ten people trying to bid for this house. So they're, they're bidding above the price already. I, you know, I just had one yesterday. I, I just reset the pre-approval letter out and basically I think it was $17,000 over the list price. And then, then I heard from, from another realtor that there was one for over 70,000. I mean, this is what we're dealing with. So why would you have a tax credit to get more buyers right now? That's, that's not the issue. The issue is to build more homes that there's just no homes out there. So once again, you got these politicians who think that they know because it feels good. It's not right. It doesn't make sense. It's not common sense, practical sense. But instead of that, let's just throw that out there to throw gasoline on a fire. Right now, what we need is people to step back and say, okay, how can we build more homes here and, and go from there? Now you got building materials that are triple the cost right now. You got everything else that, that's, that's pointed in the wrong direction right now. That has to be slowed down and then turned back the other way. How can builders, how can, how can we give more incentives to builders to build more homes? I'll give you very general. There's more things that, that people can do. But to throw a $15,000 tax credit out there because some group wanted that and, and, then it, and then it feels good to say that is the dumbest thing you can do at this point. Okay, what we need is more homes, uh, not more buyers. So hopefully I made my point crystal clear but that's exactly where I stand on this. If you got any questions, comment down below. Shoot me a private message. Shoot me a text at 423-262-9229 if you got any questions on that. But I, I don't see it. Uh, I don't see it slowing down, and I see it getting you know a lot tougher. And I see prices going up. So appreciation is going to be there. Uh, eventually, this will eventually you know come to a head. But right now, in the near future, I think that's where we're going. I think once again, you got these politicians who have no business sense whatsoever, none whatsoever. And, and they, they come up with these dumb, dumb ass policies and they throw it out there and they just throw gasoline on a fire right now. So there's so much more I could talk about, but I'd rather not. I want to stay positive. You guys have a great Monday. Have a great week and I'll talk to you soon.